continue our conversation about women in professional roles, um, I've asked some friends of mine to come in and talk about their organizations that I think could really be a big help in getting you getting you involved in the, in the professional industry, so or professional career. Um, I'll start with Angie Grimes. Angie, you want to introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Angie Grimes, and I'm the managing director of a women's empowerment nonprofit called Her Next Chapter. We're located out of Dallas, Texas. And then we have Tatiana. Hi, I'm Tatiana Lutti. I'm the co-founder of Mixer. We are a community building platform that empowers female leadership within local communities. And then we have Sturai. Yes, I'm Sturai. I'm a commercial real estate agent at uh, Commercial Brokers International. Uh, we've chatted before, so I'm here to... Yes, uh, Sturai and I did a... You can go down in our, our uh, videos and see that Sturai and I have done a previous video about getting women involved in commercial real estate. So today we're going to expand on that and just getting women involved in all aspects of uh, professional careers. So um, having reached out to them, I really was pitching the ideas to them and I just kind of threw them under the bus. You've seen us do videos. Normally we're in this nice tight little office. Well, we didn't have room for everybody. So now we're all crammed <laughs> on the couch. Um, but I think it's going to be very, very beneficial for you. So. Um, I guess, Tatiana, let's start with you and your organization and how the whole networking, uh, why don't you talk about your platform? Sure, yeah. yeah. So, I'm going to give you this analogy. If Meetup and Facebook grew and Eventbrite had a baby, that's Mixer. And so, like I said earlier, we are a community building platform to empower female leadership within local communities. So we believe in a world where feminine and masculine DNA get to have equal influence in co-creating our future. But because the world is a little bit out of balance, we're putting a lot of emphasis on empowering female leadership within local communities so that we can actually co-create with the guys a mm -hmm. more balanced world. And so <clears throat> the conversation that we're bringing through our platform is what does it mean to lead like a woman? And what does that look like? And in our particular situation, we believe that you don't have to be a woman of power, wealth, or status in order to make a difference. You can actually make a difference right here, right now, in our own local community. So we've developed this infrastructure and this platform that really empowers every woman, no matter where you're coming from and no matter what you're doing, to be a leader right now, right here, wherever you are. So, Wonderful. so if I have um, if I have a foundation or a company, and I just want to do an event, I go onto your site, and I create an event, and then I just can send it out to all my contacts. Or do you have contacts that you can send it out to, or how does that really work? Yeah, so we don't call ourselves an events platform, even though you can do that on our platform. We are really a community engagement platform. So okay. in other words, what we do is we help organizations, and when I say organizations. That could be foundations, for-profit, non-profit, charities, uh, women's communities, women's groups. Anybody that would like to create a community around something that they're really passionate about. So what you could do is you create a profile, just like you would on LinkedIn or Facebook or Twitter. Once you have your profile, you get to create a group that represents your organization. right? So it's interest-based. You then... Uh, from that point on, you then actually get to invite members if you have existing members, or if you want to create a brand new event, I'm going to call it right now, as soon as you start inviting people to your upcoming event, you have an instant community. You don't get that on Eventbrite, right? Mm -hmm. You just sell tickets on Eventbrite. Mm -hmm. But through Mixer, you're actually building an instant community. So not only can you as an organizer communicate with your attendees, before the event, but also after the event and or in between events to continue the conversation because we're all about creating conversations. Um, but also the value proposition to all of your attendees is that they are immediately part of this network now and they can start communicating with each other. I just want to point out that we are not an online social network. Yes, we have built a digital tool, but it's really to organize getting together in real life. It's about building community. It's about belonging and it's about having conversations. And we particularly focus on what does it mean to lead like a woman. Now, do you have to be a woman to use the platform? 
No, um, like men, men like yourself are absolutely welcome to join. I got that clarified. <laughs> men. You're in. You're yeah, in. men. Um, and then secondly, uh, cost. How much does it cost? It's free. Okay. Yeah, the whole platform is free to use. Um, we're all about building community and, you know, we, we also are a network of networks. Another thing that we really would like to do is to unify a decentralized um, fragmented market of so many different women's empowerment groups that are out there and they're all trying to make a difference on their own. Imagine what we could do if we all get together on Mixer, right? We would be able to amplify our impact. We would be able to amplify our, our voices. And so the other part about using Mixer is that you can actually cross collaborate. So, you know, if um, Angie would like to cross collaborate with her foundation with um, what you are doing, you could actually start connecting with one another and cross, cross collaborate with each other. That's, yeah, that's, that's why I'm, earlier before we were starting the film, I was saying Mixer has really been built from a female point of view collaborative, decentralized, transparent. Yeah, see, that's why I wanted you to meet. Um, Starai because she has been trying to get together with women in commercial real estate mm -hmm. and I just saw your platform or something that I really think it is something she could possibly work with to help her create a platform that she can get women involved uh, get them into commercial real estate and really grow that platform yeah. so that'd be a very powerful tool so I mean, but, I could and, totally, again, yeah. not just commercial real estate this is for any kind of platform that you, anybody that wanted to build their own platform. Absolutely, but what I what I could see uh, you do is really bring that conversation. What does it mean to be a woman in real estate? Yeah, and mm -hmm. I think uh, I've had some of those conversations just with certain female associates. But being uh, and we've talked about just having those short, somewhat daily conversations with each other. How much of an impact it's had on our day, and just being able to. Uh, continue on in an uh, industry where it is mostly male dominated, but even if it wasn't, the, that sense of connection, that sense of conversation, uh, whether it is very business oriented or if it, you know, there are personal conversations that come into that as well. So being able to create that platform and extend it beyond just your coworkers, because mm -hmm. especially in an industry where it is only you know, a, there's a smaller number of women. You'll have offices where there is one or two females, and I, I, I mean, I, even though we have more women in this office, but I went through this phase where I was like the only female in the office, and having another woman to just kind of converse about some of the daily challenges that makes a difference. Uh, and then going beyond that, having. Uh, creating an uh, area where those, that's why I was talking about the creating discussion groups, um, because if you have um, college kids, if you have uh, people that are considering career changes, being able to have a space where they can present questions with industry professionals to see if this makes sense for them, creating more uh, avenues of internship and leadership. So. Uh, they can have those opportunities versus, uh, you know, not really knowing where to go. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you a question. When you said when you were the only woman in the office and then somebody else joined you, how did it make a difference to you? What was the feeling that came with it now that you had another woman with you? Yeah, it's, it's exactly what you said your platform does. That's creating that sense of community, even though our community is just a handful of women now. It's just a you know, two, three of us right now, but that sense of belonging, that sense of um, understanding of, while you both don't have the same experiences, there's so much similarities, and there's so many um, things that you guys jointly overcame in different stories, and being able to share that back and forth with each other, there is... Uh, some sense of comfort that I'm not alone in this. I, you get some feedback as to how to relate or um, how to cope with something negative or, you know, enjoy and celebrate the positives that someone else might not get it the same way. So. And there's also something said about a sense of safety. Yeah, yeah. There's, that, there's a lot of that. And 
And when it, it's weird as it is, when it comes to commercial real estate, I was just talking to my associate, and even with my female friends that are industry professionals in other industries, we talked about it, but having another mm -hmm. commercial real estate, be able to talk in very specific language and have very specific celebrations of these little accomplishments that maybe another industry professional might not get and they totally get it. So those have been like some of the little positives. So me wanting to amplify that to a larger audience of other women, of course within commercial real estate and then beyond. Well. Yeah, that's a mouthful. You guys don't need me here. <laughs> we do need you. Uh -huh. you yeah, were, sure we you do. So we need supportive of sitting all of in the. You know, we have to give you credit too. Yeah. 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 Having men like you makes all the difference. It really yeah. does. It, it, and I think that's that's the biggest part, especially in industries where you have those differences, and in most different it, industries you have a lot of men leading, and if it be, does become about men opening up doors to other male and females, that's that's what is needed more. You have positions that where women leaders are opening doors of you know the mentorships and things like that, but there's already such few numbers of them mm -hmm. within leadership roles. So if the men don't take that approach also and create that room for that dialogue and that conversation, it, 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 the amount of progress that is needed won't happen at a pace we want it to. So it's good to have a collaborative conversation. <laughs> I agree. I just think there's a lot of people that especially women that don't realize that there's a lot of women that are in the industry that are open to having these conversations. So if they just know who they can reach out to, I think that's why this is so important. It's, it opens the, the dialogue yeah. you know, both ways. So, um, Angie. <laughs> you, so, I've never heard Angie so quiet in my <laughs> life. And I've known her for a lot of years. So. I, it's just fascinating because I'm, I'm sitting in the middle, which is very apropos, I feel, um, like hearing where Mixer is at, which we intend to use immediately um, and then hearing where you are with collaborating with other women in your industry like I'm in the middle for a reason because our organization is very much about um, women connecting um, mentoring nurturing and flourishing together and I think everyone has a personal voice and story to sh share and it, it's really important that we again have a safe space that we can do that in community and um, I, I think online is beneficial. I, I'm really starting to see the value in community connection in a very uh, physical and present way. And I think that uh, we're shifting into a, a more natural ecosystem when we balance those things. You're very much. I mean, I really see me being in um, tech and in, in commercial real estate running between those two. A lot of it is collaboration. And you know, if we can spread that across other industries, I think it'll just be a windfall for everybody. Yeah. You know, it, really, it really can be a powerful thing. And I know it's needed. The last video that Starai and I did, um, a lot of people reached out to Starai, not to me, by the way, to Starai, <laughs> and, uh, and had questions and comments, and uh, some, some very powerful people reached out to her, and she's talking to them. So we know that there's a need for this in these organizations. So I thought today, let's just sit down and talk about it. and. Um, we'll put the links below so you guys can go to their to their uh, websites and reach out to them directly or reach out to Starai or myself, probably Starai, right? And um, and then ask questions and let's uh, let's get this dialogue moving forward. Can I throw out a, a request? Sure. It would be awesome to hear from everybody. What does it mean to you to be like a woman? That's very good. So, all right, on that note, Thank you very much for tuning in, and uh, please subscribe. Thank you.